nappy wipes. Man, I think when you have children, the revelation of these things. Oh, another blackout. What the heck? Just a wake up call to retailers in Australia. Amazon Australia is just around the corner. If you're gonna play monkey games with people, uh, with advertising stuff like this in the catalog, and it not being in store there, you're gonna be finished. And I better go, looks like someone's called the police to check out the man ranting on the roof. I hope I'm gonna get it this time. I'm gonna try and get one of those 3D printers from Aldi. Just had a friend of mine on YouTube remind me that it's installed. Let's hope it's still there. Well, let's hope the power's on too, hey? I'm not here enough any time, but I can still go so long, suckers. Okay, it's a little bikey thing there. Bit of a TV thing there, bit of a shredder thing there. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, okay. Like Lucky like Charlie's, I did get it. It is a slightly smaller uh, 3D printer versus the one they had on sale six months back that became my Bitcoin thing. And I also got these colors here. I like gray, but I also like these colors too. That's the price there, call it $300, okay? And just in the chat, I had a lovely gentleman who came in to also buy one, there is now only one left. So it's definitely the quick and the dead when it comes to these printers. For the fact it was a Wednesday special made it a bit easier to pick up. I wasn't here at the opening of the store, and if you want to come down here, you can also pick up these fine filaments. While I'm here, I get some stuff for that redback spider problem I've got. This stuff's not too bad. I don't mind this one as well. EnviroShield, you okay. Let's not forget Fluffy's food. I had to run out of the store the other day when there was a blackout. I can get the stuff that I missed out on the other day. That's the sort of thing that I get given for Christmas. I don't know why, but while I'm here, I might get a Slinky, the original Slinky. Look at that. Made in the USA. Oh, something not made in China. One of the main things I actually get at Aldi is uh, nappy wipes. Man, I think when you have children, the revelation of these things. Oh, another blackout. What the heck? I can't believe this. Oh, I'm not, I'm not leaving the trolley this time. Man, what is going on with Australia? God, we just got no power. I can't believe this. And I'm not joking, guys, this is for real. Oh, what is going on? I am not leaving the store without that. I can tell you that right now. I'm gonna really make a big thump and stamp and thing about this. Oh, I've got to get out of this country. I've got to go somewhere else. Just please, please let me know where to go, where there's power. I know you're gonna say China. That was scary. Power has just been put back on, but I'm gonna to race to the checkouts to get out of here because I'm not leaving without a 3D printer. I've got to get out of here fast. Escape, escape the store before the power goes. Escape. I can't believe it. I've actually just paid for the goods and I'm getting out of the store while the power's back on and escape down this way. And because I'm sometimes a renegade here, I'll do a little stunt. If I go wrong, I end up in the car park. Okay, I'm gonna ride the trolley down. Yo, yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Yo, whoa. Don't do silly things like that, boys and girls. I've got that in the car, yeah. And now to return the trolley, and you, maybe you know where this is gonna end up. Over here, and we can see it a bit better now that the lights are back on, because when I looked at this last time, there was a blackout. But it's only really early days, we've still got the trolley trap which is going on here, okay? Might see it a bit better now. There we go, there's the trolley trap. Now what happens is people come here, they go, oh, I can't get my money back off. Oh, maybe I'll just leave it and someone else can have the dollar coin. Pretty easy money, isn't it? Hey, think about the way that works. And believe me, I've seen people dump the trolley. I've just grabbed my trolley again and I'll take it back to the area, the other single area where I can get my money back out of the trolley. Just bumped into the trolley collection guy and he let me put the trolley into the lift. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm actually working for him now. Now I've got to work out how to get my money back. There we are. Well, the trolley collection guy says, why are you taking a video of my trolleys and everything? I said, hey, maybe it's time to fix up your little bay that's not working. So who knows, I might come back here tomorrow and the problem's gonna be fixed. It's funny how videos fix things up, isn't it, hey? Every time. For my second retail challenge of the day, uh, this landed in my letter box on Halloween. It's from my department stores and I saw something in here that I really wanna have. And it's the Lego Saturn V rocket here. Look at that there. So I've turned up at Maya. Let's hope they've got it. I don't need the yellow submarine, but what worries me here, it says here limited stock. Hmm. 
But hey, I've seen limited stop before and I've beaten the system. I'll head off into Meyer and grab this puppy, eh? This is the Meyer store at Hornsby Westfield. There's some staff people in here who know me really well. They've helped me many times before. Shazam! Oh, look at that, it does open. This is the Lego area. I have to talk through this uh, because there's music playing. I'm trying to find the set. I'm looking in the adult adulty sort of area here. I think it's in a big box. Okay, I'm not quite seeing it stick out at me here. But I'm still going to be hopeful. Let's not give up hope yet. We're going to take a good look around at what's available here. Even that yellow submarine, even though I've already got one, I wonder if it's here as well. Mmm, Batman, can you help me please? This is the as advertised little thing here, but it looks like advent calendars. I'm um, just looking over here very quickly. Ninjago movie, I don't want to know about that one. I'm starting to panic, I'm not seeing what I want to see here. Let me find the staff person I know really well. I've just spoken to the staff person who I've known here for many years. I trust this person explicitly. Very good staff person at Maya. I am really, really pissed off at the moment from what I've been told. Let me get out of the store and tell you what happened. I am very pissed off. I can't get out of here fast enough and I'll never ever come back. And Amazon Australia, get your gear together because retail in Australia is stuffed. I need that brown paper burn to settle me down. I am very, very angry. And I looked at the fine print on this. It says on sale from the 31st of October for blah, 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 okay? The staff person down there, I love this person. He, he probably loves me because I'm always coming into Meyer and buying stuff from there. And uh, he's very truthful to me and he said, hey, you know, people coming in here this morning asking for the yellow submarine, guess what? No stock, never in stock. People coming in here for the Saturn V, guess what? No stock, nil stock. That is a complete and utter fail. Australian retailers, wake up to yourselves. Amazon Australia is just around the corner. You are going to be assassinated, I dare say, Meyer is basically assassinated as it stands now, okay? You deserve to be assassinated because you're playing games. If you're advertising stuff like that in your cattle dogs and it's not in store and never was in store, you deserve to go. And then this lovely person, oh, nearly said his name there, said to me, let's look online and let's see its availability. Guess what? Not in stock, not in stock. So this is total and utter nonsense. I totally wasted my time coming down here and I'm never ever gonna come back. I feel much better for saying that. Maybe if you had luck and you found one in your store, you can tell me, but I'm over it, totally over it. And I better go, looks like someone's called the police to check out the man ranting on the roof. Yes, that was me, because the Saturn V wasn't in Maya. I've got a mall cop uh, side of me now. I'll just get in here and hide for a while. Okay. Well, with the police helicopter one story up there looking for the deranged person who was raining on the roof and also the mall cops looking for that exact same person, I better sit in my car here nice and quiet for a while. I may have people on the exits looking for me as well. And there's no use going for a drive out in the suburb in a very angry state because I may have a very angry accident. So I've got to be very careful, get my blood pressure down and, and just try to uh, calm down. Let me just have one little query here to my excellent audience, okay? We need to hear who got this special. Okay, I want to hear this. We all need to hear this because to me, well, it's funny, when I, when I saw that special, I thought, wow, it almost seems too good to be true. Uh, the Saturn V Rocket uh, Lego set has not, no, I don't think it's been available in Australia yet. And I thought, wow, there it is. You know, I knew it was overseas there for a while. And it's funny, when I walked in here this morning and the staff person who knows me really well, who's a straight shooter with me, he must have known what I came in for. And I could just almost think, oh, no, don't tell me he's going to tell me the truth here. Sure enough, he told me the truth. And when we looked online and we, said, we saw it wasn't available, that's when I, th I thought to myself, you know, what's going on here? And then he said to me, we never had it in store here either. And I'm thinking, this is wrong. Okay, sure, there's probably some little fiddly fine legal print here where it gets them out of jail, doesn't it? But maybe it was the Maya City store where they had the stock, but we need to hear who got these sets, okay, at this price. Yes, they may be available later on, but will they be at this price? Or is this some sort of weird lure going on, hey? The Hornsby store here, I've picked up excellent toys in the past. Uh, I know how the Maya special system works, and anyone who's a frequent Maya customer would know that. But the store will be closed, I think, end of 2018. In a funny way, it's almost like goodbye, good riddance. Let's hope a big W lands here. But I'm going to miss my fantastic staff person connection in here because when you have staff people that connect to you, when you walk into the store, they say, hey, you know, we've got this, this, and this. They actually assist you 
in buying stuff. That's the way retailers work, you know. You come to have a store experience. Uh, a lot of the retailers in Australia seem to have lost that uh, very important aspect to dealing with customers. I better leave this video here and calm down and hopefully I can get out of here without the mall cops nabbing me and taking me over to Hornsby Police Station. And there's nothing worse than when I get angry, is there? I better calm down and uh, get out of here. Well, the fine print on the side of the catalogue gets them out of jail, doesn't it? Let's read up here. Not all brands, products and styles available. All stores. See Maya.com.au.